Hello and welcome on The Watchers TV and today we're going to talk about a really impressive timepiece, one of the most surprising I've ever seen. Exuberant, technical and fun at the same time. So personally, I've always found uh, Automaton watches really interesting and uh, Jacob & Co is one of the rare brands uh, to propose uh, such timepieces but uh, generally taking you a little bit off guard with their creativity. Think of the Astronomia family and its many different uh, models, uh, the Opera Godfather watch, the oil pump watch uh, seen last year. Well, these uh, are no ordinary automatons and uh, what we are talking about today is no exception in pushing again the limits quite far as we had the privilege of filming the prototype version of the Bugatti Chiron by Jacob & Co, including some uh, behind the scenes of its assembly and manufacturing secrets. Pretty cool, no? So I don't know if uh, you guys remember, but last year we had talked about the brand's uh, new partnership with supercar maker Bugatti, announced at Baselworld and for the occasion, well, they introduced the Bugatti version of the Twin Turbo Furious, uh, limited to 39 pieces. Very impressive and I promise this is an understatement. Twin triple axis tourbillon minute repeater, Monopusher chronograph. Yes, just another little simple watch. But this was uh, more like a special version of a timepiece which had already been uh, presented in 2018. But now they are really introducing a totally new watch to honor this partnership. And when you consider the limited time it took them uh, to develop this, well, this is already quite a performance by itself because we're not talking adding a little Bugatti logo on a dial, but putting an actual Bugatti Chiron on your wrist with the full package, engine and all, I mean, it's simple as that. So when I first heard about this project, well, I originally thought that uh, the watch would be, I mean, huge, but actually it's quite compact, uh, if I can say so, and wearable, and I have small wrists. Okay, I understand that when I tell it's vertical size of 54 millimeter, 44 millimeter in width, and 20 millimeter in height, well, this may seem uh, massive, but strangely, it doesn't give this impression because you just have so much happening in such a small volume. But of course, I mean, you have something quite special and unique on the wrist. So let's now uh, get more into the details and before talking mechanics, let's talk about uh, its design. And naturally, I mean, the parallels with the actual Bugatti Chiron are quite obvious, uh, taking the flowing curves of the supercar on this uh, titanium case. With as many sapphire opening, uh, letting you seriously admire quite a machine under the hood. Uh, for instance, I mean, with this horseshoe grill, letting you see for the very first time on the Jacob & Co watch, this uh, 30 degree inclined uh, one minute tourbillon. And something I like uh, about it is that normally, I mean, the view of the tourbillon is generally reserved, or let's say privileged for the actual wearer of the watch. But here it's uh, facing the person in front of you because uh, as the wearer, well, you have something even sweeter to look at with this amazing downsize uh, replica of the actual crazy uh, WA16 cylinder engine found in the Chiron. But uh, quickly coming back on the movement, well, this is a totally new development. It's manually hand wound. And I will get back on this uh, feature in a second because it's totally worth it. Hang in there. Well, this uh, 578 component movement uh, holds a strong 60 hours of power reserve and beats at three hertz. So indeed, a very nice movement in itself. But of course, I mean, the really super exciting part is this miniature engine. And again, no shortcut taken. This is really a W16 cylinder exact replica of the original Chiron engine. And to let you fully enjoy it, well, the cylinder part is made out of sapphire. But in the case of the prototype uh, we managed to film, well, this was still in plexiglass. So I can just imagine how sparkly and even cooler it will be with this uh, final sapphire version. Uh, but to be honest, I mean, I was already and uh, quite impressed because when you realize the size of the pistons and how well they mimic the actual movement uh, seen in the real engine, thanks to this amazingly small size crankshaft. And when I say small size, well, you have to realize the, the complexity of this component. I mean, it's just immensely complex and so tiny at the same time. So to machine something like this, well, it requires some pretty heavy duty, super high end CNC machine. And it took the team of uh, Jacob & Co and its uh, partners more than three days simply to adjust the machine to produce this part essential for the engine's smooth running. And I've tested it many times and it worked each time perfectly uh, on demand. No gripping whatsoever, just smooth and uh, 
just mesmerizing to look at. So when I talked uh, with the watchmaker uh, responsible for the project, well, he shared with me that even he uh, didn't know if it would actually work. I mean, he did all the computer projection and thought, uh, well, they made uh, the right decision. But uh, even he uh, was, I mean, he was holding his breath when they activated the animation for the first time and it worked perfectly. So the watch holds uh, two barrels, one for the actual movement and uh, you can see the power reserve indicator at uh, 8 o'clock and a second one for the animation. So to wind both barrels you turn this uh, center crown either clockwise for the movement or counterclockwise for the animation. Uh, the crown on the left uh, lets you adjust the time indication and the one on the right is actually a pusher that will activate the engine animation which lasts approximately 20 seconds and uh, with the barrel all fueled up well you can activate it uh, three times energy being uh, liberated uh, from the barrel all the way to the animation but properly regulated meaning evenly I mean you don't have the pistons revving at 5000 rpms and then slowly at uh, 1000 rpm after five seconds no it's smooth and even and this uh, thanks to a mechanical regulator found on the side and to push a bit farther uh, the parallels uh, with the real car well here you will see uh, two small turbochargers uh, turning like crazy when the animation is running so they uh, don't have any mechanical purposes but they just are really super cool to look at like I said no shortcuts okay but the show doesn't stop there as you can see all the mechanical elements of this watch uh, the time uh, telling movement and the animation movement are both bound on some kind of special chassis like the cars actually but here acting uh, some kind of base plate and this entire structure is then held onto the watch's case uh, with a suspension uh, that you can clearly see uh, with these four struts that are not there for the decor I mean the movement is really suspended within the case and that's uh, already pretty nice but this actually hides something totally awesome and I guess some of you probably ask yourself well if this chassis can slightly move within the case how can the crown stem not break? Well, this gets uh, really super cool because uh, they develop these uh, stems working like a cardan system and they will therefore adapt uh, to these uh, changing heights because had they been rigid, well, they could have definitely break and or, I mean, jam their function. Okay, small detail, you see, but I really like this. So this timepiece, and listen to this, well, this timepiece is actually being officially launched here on the Watches TV. Pretty cool, no? And of course, uh, this will be limited, uh, but the first good news, well, at least for me, is that you don't have to be a Bugatti owner to apply for one. It will probably help, uh, of course, if uh, to get on top of the list if you indeed have a Chiron in your garage. But this is a limited edition piece uh, designed for customization. So the buyers can get exactly the timepiece they want, colors to match the Bugatti, a gem set, and more, of course. And we don't yet know final production volumes, but of course, I mean, we're not talking huge volumes. Well, anyhow, uh, and I guess uh, we'll see some pretty wild versions of what is already an amazing machine. And the second good news is that it will cost less than the Chiron. Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did because once again, I just love the fact of still being totally surprised with some of these uh, seemingly impossible and daring developments. And for instance, well, I never thought I would see an operational crankshaft and pistons uh, in a watch. So congrats uh, for this world first and I'm pretty sure we will continue to see some uh, other example of uh, creative watchmaking in the future because it simply never stops. And that's really fantastic and inspiring to witness uh, people trying uh, new things without any idea if it's going to work or not. Uh, it's quite bold. I like it. So all the very best to you. Really hope uh, you enjoyed this one. Not an everyday sight for sure. See you real soon. And viva exuberant watchmaking. I also like classical watchmaking. And uh, obviously you know that. But once in a while, how cool is it to see something like this? See you real soon.